my tarantula eat? Welcome back to Tarantula Zone. Today we're going to be talking about some of the reasons why your tarantula might not want to eat. As tarantulas don't really give you many indications if there's anything wrong with them, the most normal behaviour that we see from a tarantula is their eating. There are grooming and just walking around the enclosure, but you can get a lot of information from your tarantula on whether or not they're eating. There are many reasons why a tarantula may or may not eat and we will try our best to cover the most common reasons why a tarantula may not be eating. For the novice tarantula keeper, it may be daunting and you may panic, but 9 out of 10 times there is honestly nothing to worry about. But, like, like I said, we will cover this in the video. So the first reason, and the most common reason, as to why your tarantula might not eat is that it's actually in pre-mold. There are many different signs and symptoms to go along with the refusal of food, such as they're acting a lot more sluggish than normal, their abdomen may be coming quite large even though they're not eating, it may start to go peachy, it starts to lose all of that fuzz, and eventually turning black with a shine to it. A lot of the pre mot signs will be dependent on the type of tarantula you have too. So for instance, uh, a brachypelma may lose a lot of the hairs on its abdomen and go bald, like Colette just explained. However, if you have an old world arboreal tarantula, like a P. metallica, for instance, or any Pisal terrier, you won't get these signs because it will not go bald. It will just, its abdomen will get bigger and it will just refuse to eat and it will likely web up a lot more. As Sam mentioned, webbing is a huge part of the molting process. You will see them lay a web mat on the floor and then you know that it's it's going to happen very soon and it's very interesting to watch if you're lucky enough to witness that. However, not all tarantulas will make a web mat. A boreal species, for instance, will just web up their tube a lot more. So our Pisal terrier metallicas, we always know when they're either in pre-molt or nearing pre-molt because suddenly their, um, their web tunnels will become super dense and there'll be lots of web everywhere. But in actual fact, from our experience, peaceful terriers don't really web up too much. Not, I mean, we've, we've got quite a few species and they don't really web. They just like to find their little cork hides and just sit in there, so. And as he mentioned, they will seal off their hides completely. You'll know there'll be a, a thick web sheet across their entrances and that's not just for arboreals, that will be burrowers as well. So that's a very good indication that they are in pre -mold. To help a tarantula molt, they will build up fluid in between their, um, the outside of them and the inside, as like, easy as I can explain this. So you will notice that their legs may puff out slightly, they may look like they get a little bit chunkier, um, and that is just to ease um, them getting out of it. This may also cause some light clear fluid leaking from their joints. Again, this is nothing to worry about unless there has been an injury. And then finally, the biggest sign that your tarantula is in pre is the flip and them actually molting. <laughs> so if your tarantula has any of those signs, the likelihood is they're in pre and you don't need to worry about it. Although I would hold off feeding them until they're, they're fully hardened, their fangs are no longer like clear or red, you want them to be black you want them to you want them to be out and be more confident and then you know depending on the size of your tarantula for smaller species we usually leave about seven to ten days and that will increase with the larger size of the tarantula only you can really know just make sure you take note of when your tarantula does molt to give you a better indication on when you should try feeding them again another common reason why a tarantula may not eat is it could be that their prey item is too big for them. This will vary a lot depending on the species of tarantula as well as the age of the tarantula. For instance, we have some Pamphobita slings and we can chuck in red runner roaches that are actually about the size of the sling and it will happily take it down and have a, a good old rough and tumble with it and pretty much eat all of it amazingly. 
Um, however, we have some a couple of our brachypalmas, for instance. If if you don't give it the correct size prey item, it will just run away from it. Even though it can easily take it, like without a doubt, it will just run away and be super skittish. So that comes down to you knowing your tarantula, but if you have multiple size prey items, try giving a smaller size and see what happens. Continuing on from prey size is prey type. Some tarantulas will happily go for dubias. Dubia roaches don't really move too much. They kind of sit there and they might move a little bit. Uh, whereas crickets, red runners um, and other items like that are very fidgety and twitchy and dart about. Fussy eaters will probably prefer the movement of crickets and red runners over a dubia and a dubia will want to burrow as soon as it can really. It will it will go and hide and not want to move. If you have been using dubias for instance or things similar, try, um, try prey items that move a lot more. If a tarantula doesn't seem interested in a cricket or a red runner, it probably means it's not hungry. And remember not to leave um, your crickets especially in the enclosure if your tarantula is refusing food because if it is in pre-molt it can do a lot of damage. So just remember to take out any uneaten prey, even if it's a bit of a pain trying to catch it, just to be on the safe side for your tarantula's sake. If you have a type of enclosure where you feel that it would be really difficult to uh, recapture a prey item, it's always a really good idea to pre-kill or stun uh, crickets and red runners and stuff, because that way that they'll still move about and and make the tarantula interested, but then you eliminate the prey item damaging your tarantula, basically. Another reason why your tarantula may not want to eat is environmental factors. This can range massively. It can be a recent rehouse, which is particularly stressful for tarantulas. They don't really like it. They get very unfamiliar of where they are. This can cause them to not want to eat. And that is mainly because they're not familiar with their surroundings. So don't be panicked if you've got this new tarantula and you rehouse it into this great enclosure. You go to feed it and it's just a pet rock. It doesn't want to eat. It doesn't trust where it is. Leave it a few days and then try again. Temperature, humidity, the light of the room can all play massive factors on whether or not your tarantula wants to eat. Again, this comes back to the tarantula being stressed. If your husbandry isn't best suited for the tarantula that you have, or there isn't a hide for it, it needs some work to do to make itself feel secure, again, it won't eat. Unless you have a particularly greedy tea, like most of us are that are happy to eat regardless of where they are. Making sure that you have the correct temperature and humidity, again, as I said, will help drastically with the temperament and happiness of your tarantula, which will make it want to eat. Although, when I'm sad, I want to eat. When I'm happy, I want to eat. When I'm stressed, I don't want to eat. I am a tarantula. If you're struggling to feed during the day, try it at night when they're likely to be more active. Keep the lighting low, use red lights if you have to, if the light really is causing an issue. Some species are actually photosensitive, which means that they really do not like light. I mean, tarantulas as a whole aren't, I wouldn't say they're diurnal, they're most definitely a more nocturnal um, animal, but but a good example would be our, again, our Pisateria metallicas. We just never see them eat in the day. And we never really see them eat anyway. We kind of have to just chuck stuff in there and then check it the next day to see if it's still there or not. They will not eat for us at all. Whether that's the light or any other fact that you disturb their enclosure and they are straight down there. Cork hide. Another reason why your tarantula might not eat is a very uncommon one but not unheard of and it's actually from a bad mole or causing damage to their fangs. So like I said previously about waiting for those fangs to harden up, if you have left a prey item in there and then your tarantula just tried to take it down way before it's hardened up, this is going to cause damage to their fangs and then they won't be able to eat after that. Also using tongs that your tarantulas may be manage to bite and cause damage to. Actually, Mark's tarantula 
does a great video on him having to feed one of his tarantulas that had damaged fangs. So if you are interested in this, go check out that video. Um, we'll link it down below because it's actually a really interesting video to watch and massive respect for the guy for for what he done for that tarantula. If your tarantula is a mature male, at some point in their life, after their final molt, they will stop eating, basically. They are not designed to live forever, they have a very short lifespan, and they just don't eat. So if you do have a mature male, which is easily identifiable on most tarantulas via the hooks they have on their front legs and the bulbs, don't panic. Just like pretty much any other animal, tarantulas will not eat if there is a problem with them, whether that's illness, including death curl or old age, super old age, um, they just won't eat. So that can be a difficult one to identify, especially if you haven't raised the tarantula from a sling, so you don't really know how old it is. So if you've bought an adult female online, um, it's very unlikely that you will be told when it it reached maturity. Um, even the tarantulas live a long, long time. It could be that someone's trying to make some money before they, they feel like the tarantula may die. Then you've got the death curl or pre-death curl because sometimes you can kind of see your tarantula and it's not sat right, it's not acting right. And you go, there is definitely something wrong. And then perhaps in the next couple of days, the death curl happens. The death curl is quite a complicated thing, but essentially it's when the tarantula is not well, it is dehydrated, and it's not able to use its body correctly, which then makes its legs curl up underneath it. It's quite a horrible process because the tarantula is fine, it just needs nutrients, or it could be malnourished, or it needs a lot more, a lot more humidity Death curls are primarily a husbandry issue for the most part. Not always, but for the most part. I hope some of these have been able to help you identify the reasons why your tarantula might not be eating. Comment below if you do need any more help or you're unsure of some of the other signs that maybe your tarantula is showing. If you haven't already, please click subscribe down below. <laughs> And remember to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye.